long off season is over. You no longer have to dream of winning. It's time to earn that trip to the top step of the podium. Hi everybody, welcome to a new season for the 250 class of Monster Energy, AMA Supercross and FIM World Championship. The riders are ready to take to the track for the first race of the year. What's up, everyone? Razmataz87 back in action, getting ready for another episode of Monster Energy Supercross 3. As y'all all watch me epically fail and finish last place in this race, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff as we he are getting ready to get into the, the next race. That makes him a fan favorite. Oop, oop, there's me. Alright, so we finished next to last in our race, so of course we only get probably only two spots to choose from. Yep, only two. Um, we are most definitely going with this one. And we need to, I, I do want to make one change on this bike setup. Put that back to a medium. It's time to go racing. Eyes focused on Round the one for the 250 Ready East. For the Here we go, clutch in. Accelerator on. Oh, that was almost perfect. Dang it. Oh, that was my fault. I totally wrecked that dude. Oh. Mob swarm everywhere. Guys wrecking. Oh my gosh. Chaos. All right. If I can get a top 10 after what we've been through, I will be ecstatic. Oh. Oh, we are going for more than a top 10. Oh, we got Chase Sexton leading the way. Martin, uh, Martin Davalos. Mitchell Oldenburg behind me. Oh my God, that screwed that up so bad. There's my teammate, Josh Smith. Or excuse me, Jordan Smith. And my other one, Mitchell Falk. So we, oh, I just wrecked my teammate. I, s I did not mean to do that. We barely touched, what in the world? I preloaded, I don't know why it held me up like that. Oh, what is he doing? Teammate probably thinks I hate him. My gosh, that, that that's ridiculous. I loaded again there. And this is the only problem that I have with this game is when you're around a lot of other riders like this, even with you loading for some reason, the game, I don't know if the game doesn't register it or the bumping messes you up to where you don't get the momentum you're supposed to have. Uh, so frustrating. Cause until the field spreads out a little bit, it's like impossible to pass Oh, I tried to dig in there, but lost traction. If I could get away from these guys right here, I would be ecstatic. And that was a little cheaty. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm now paying the price for not having that momentum. <laughs> oh my God. Somebody always cutting me to the inside, messing me up. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. There we go. All right. So let's see if we can get a little spread out here. Gonna make passing a million times easier once we're spread. Oh no. What the heck? How is that even a thing? How is it that I triple tripled? What is Justin Cooper doing way back here? He should be at the front. He's one of the better riders. What I was saying is, is like, how is it that I double tripled? I like hit that section perfectly. And yet they are right on my inside, right when I'm slowing down for the turn. Man, I keep going too far to the inside there. Well, looks like we're doubling out. Well, or, or not. We're singling out with cases. Thomas Covington in front of us. He is one of the ones that was in the LCQ with me. Oh, get out of my way, dude. Like, like slammed on the brakes in front of me. I probably didn't help him, but. I'm going to be perfectly honest with y'all. Around 10th is where I was expecting to finish. It's been a while since I played this game. I, I'm not going to lie. I probably lost my touch a little bit on it. I used to be a heck of a lot better than this. <clears throat> I expected to be around 10th. I did not expect to go to the LCQ, though. I was expecting to probably get sixth or, you know, 5th or 6th in the heat. So that's been my only kerfuffle in this so far. Yeah, see, now Mitchell, Old, Mitchell Oldenburg and Brandon Hearthcraft, these are actually really good racers. So we're starting to get into the meat and potatoes of the good riders now. Oh, I'll just go ahead and pass two in one turn. Thank you very much. Dang, that turn, I keep sliding the rear end. Heartwrath is not letting me uh, have the spot, is he? Ah. My tire dug in at the wrong spot and it brought Oldenburg back. Ah, nice switchback. Ah, he ended up 
was hitting that triple though and I didn't. Oh no, what the heck? No. No. Kyle Peters is right up on me now. Go, 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 go. Oh no. I don't know how I managed to case both of those, but I did. Catching up to another group here. All of us. Ah, I'm gonna lose a little time there. Oh, Oldenburg messed up. Oh, Hearthcraft just freaking jumped in front of me. Oh, I just took out Oldenburg on accident. Why does Hearthcraft keep getting in front of me? That is disappointing. And I was doing so good too. Thankfully, I, I think I only lost, what, one spot, two spots? Because now the, the field is starting to get a little spread out. Can't get to the inside of Covington. I can, yes. Oh, he got me back, though. But he's not going to make that jump. Ah. Uh. All right. So, oh no, he almost stuck back to the inside. All right, so we're in tenth. I will be perfectly happy if we finish here, but we got a pack of riders in front of us. Let's see if we can't catch them. There's our teammate. So we can see about finishing the as the highest KTM. Troy Lee design KTM that is so just so you know the way a uh, monster energy supercross is is um, most teams not all but most manufacturers have a manufacturer team so for KTM it's Red Bull KTM but Troy Lee designs KTM buys their parts and stuff from KTM they're just not an official factory team so they don't get like first day parts and stuff they they more or less have to get hand-me-down parts more or less. <laughs> I hate to make it sound like that but I mean it's kind of the truth you know because factory or um, Red Bull KTM factory is going to get day one parts and it's like that with every single team because like you have a uh, star Yamaha which is the factory team but there's other Yamaha teams out there that uses Yamaha. Um, then you got the Monster Energy Kawasaki. You have Rockstar Husqvarna. Um, I don't think Suzuki even has a factory team right now. I could be 100% wrong. I don't think they do. Because um, it was Joe Gibbs Suzuki for a while. But I think Joe Gibbs got completely out of supercross and i'm sitting here just trying to talk get my mind off of things i'm now all of a sudden i'm in fifth place um and actually gas gas just entered supercross they're not in this game and i don't even know if they're in supercross four we'll have to see um i'm rewinding that one that that one was my fault but but gas gas just joined um and is there another one? I feel like there is another manufacturer I'm not thinking of. But for the most part, they mostly have a uh, name brand. 
I personally like KTMs. It's not that I don't like the other ones. I have no problems against the other ones. My dad used to ride a, a Yamaha and a Suzuki. So we don't have anything against them. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just like KTM because I do have a German ancestry and KTMs are Austrian. So I was like, well, it's the only non-Japanese ones that's any good. Um, excluding gas gas now. Well, all the rest of them are Japanese. So, and their colors are orange and blue. And on top of that, I like Red Bull more than Monster Energy. So, I really don't drink a lot of energy drinks, but I do prefer a Red Bull over uh, Monster Energy or I actually do not. If, if energy drinks would have came out and, Mo and Monster and Rockstar would have been the ones to choose from, I would have been like, yeah, I, I don't drink Monster or energy drinks then because those are gross. I do not like them. Red Bull, pretty good. I like Red Bull. But I would still not recommend anyone drinking those things. Especially on a regular basis. The thing about... I would prefer a cup of coffee. But the thing about being in the south is it's always hot down here. So a cup of coffee isn't always the smartest idea. We are catching fourth place Henry Miller... We, oh, oh, we're on the final lap now. So we got one. This is the last lap. We're about to start it right now. So last lap. So let's see if we can catch Miller. No way we're catching anyone else. You see how much more easy the game is once you get spread out a little bit. You get away from folks. Oh, I might get him right here. Oh, yeah, I caught him big time there because he double, double, doubled. I triple, tripled. So that helped out a lot. He tripled. Oh, yeah, he, he made that triple. Ugh. It just depends on. Oh, no, that, I messed up. I was just about to say it depends on the whoops now. I will take that. Heck yeah, I will take that. What was that? Fifth place? That was an incredible main event. I will As take the that. Results come up on the screen showing how they raced across the finish line jump with a few surprises in the finishing order of this one. Oh man. So Martin Davalos wins it. Chase Sexton, Austin Fortner, Henry Miller, then me, Brandon Hartrath. Uh Jordan Bailey, Lorenzo. I don't even know who that is. Lorenzo guy. Josh Osby, Kyle Peters, top 10. Um, I was only one tenth off the fastest lap. Josh Osby put in at 52.8. I did a 52.9. So I was on pace. It's just, like I said, the problem is, is when you're packed up like that, it's so hard to get out of there. Uh, Honda was the other manufacturer I was trying to think of. I knew there was another one. Um, Honda actually has Red Bull Honda. So. I think it's called Red Bull Honda Factory Racing or something like that. But there you go. There is round number uno. A lot of fun. I'll take a fifth any day of the week. And there's our point standings. Of course, it's the same as the race. And um, before I let you go, I'll let you know what the next race is. because I don't know what it is. It is Arlington, AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Actually, a really fun track, really fast, actually. But it's uh, very long because, obviously, AT&T Stadium is huge. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Um, th this one, to me, is just more fun um, more than anything. Like I said, I was going to try to wait for uh, Supercross 4 to come out, and I got tired of waiting. I just wanted to start playing. Definitely going to finish up the this 250 series depends on when we're at uh like how how far along we are but if uh whether or not i actually do the 450s or not so we'll just have to see on that one um because <laughs> by the time we get to that point it might be about time for monster energy 4 to come out 
but if we still have another week or two, I don't know, we might do something. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Uh, I will see you on the next one. Please make sure you uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you in Arlington. Peace.